can somebody please explain to me? And I don't want to hear from no Jamaicans. I, I don't want to hear it. And you over there, you better just hush because I want to hear on either. Why is it that as soon as you tell somebody you're from the Caribbean, they automatically assume, or they are, this is a response then, oh yeah, I've been to Jamaica. Like what? Like y'all really think that Jamaica is the only Caribbean island that there is? Don't get me wrong. Technically, I'm like Jamaican by marriage, you know. It's, <laughs> but that's not the point in this, in this, in this, that's not the point here. Why is it that people always assume that if you're from the Caribbean, you're from Jamaica? Like, it's not the only Caribbean island. Anyways. Hello, what's up, my people? How are you doing? Now, this lady has asked a simple question. The why is it that most of the time, whenever people mention Caribbean, we think it's Jamaica? Now, I know most of the people can say, you know, this lady, she's just trying to root for Jamaica. Or she's obsessed with Jamaica. But you know what? Whatever the lady is speaking, that's the truth. If you're in the Caribbean, I know. As a Caribbean, it's easy for you to know that Caribbean has got a lot of countries. But what about those people who are never born in Caribbean? What do they think? At the mention of Caribbean, most of us, we knew that Caribbean is Jamaica. Now, this lady said one thing that her husband who is a jamaican told her that many people think that caribbean is jamaica because jamaica put themselves on the map but now my question is how did jamaica put themselves on the map ladies and gentlemen i want to answer this lady because she asked an important question that why is it that many people think that caribbean is jamaica even us before we started digging deep, we always thought that Caribbean is Jamaica. Number one, Jamaicans have always talked about Caribbean. Listen to the music. Caribbean queen, Caribbean girl, Caribbean people. Jamaicans have always mentioned Caribbean, 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 Caribbean. Until it has always been a chorus to our ears. So most of us who follow Jamaican artists, we knew that Jamaica and Caribbean is one thing. So anytime anybody mentioned Caribbean, we knew it was Jamaica. So this lady, whatever she's saying, she is very right. Trust me. Trust me. Out here, in Caribbean it's okay, but out here, many people, whenever they mention Caribbean, they always think it is Jamaica. Number two, Jamaican culture. Jamaican culture spread. And I've always say, talked about this, but today I'm just trying to answer this lady. You know, Jamaican culture, it has spread north, east, west, south, northeast, southeast. <laughs> For real, it has always spread. And so whenever people say, you know what, Caribbean, they think of the Jamaican culture, you know, the Rastafarian culture, you know, people feeling iry. You know, people talk about one love. You know, people talk about, you know, j just the Jamaican vibe. And so, because Jamaica is in Caribbean, people will tend to associate with this culture. You know, and so whenever they mention Caribbean, people automatically, their brains will switch to Jamaica. So whatever this lady is saying, it's not a lie. I'm not, I'm not trying to justify whatever she's saying. But I'm also justifying because that is the truth. Another thing, Jamaican food. Jamaican food. It was rank number two. You remember? And if you trace Jamaica, you find it in Caribbean. So these things, they make Caribbean so popular with Jamaica. So it's like these two things, you know, the Jamaican uh, food and Caribbean are intertwined or like connected. Whereby you speak of Caribbean and people's mind switch to Jamaica, you know, because of the food. The food is so famous. The jack food, you know, oxtail, you know, ake and salt fish. So this lady, whatever she's saying, has some truths in it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go on and try to answer this lady. How did Jamaicans put themselves on the map? Jamaican people who don't know Jamaican people. Who don't know Jamaican people? Or who doesn't know Jamaican people? 
you know, Peter Tosh, Busy Signal, you know, Chris Martin, I want to say Chris Brown, <laughs> Chris Martin, you know, Shaggy, Sean Paul, you know, Burning Spear, Culture, The Wailers, Egyptian, Coco T, Gregory Isaac, T.O.K., hurry up and come back, was the last thing she said to her son, the day his life was taken. You remember that song? <clears throat> Footprints. And so if we talk about Jamaican people, they are known, trust me. Some of us, you can mention like more than 100 people. You know, Bob Marley, Marcus Gavin. And if you trust these people, you'll find them in the Caribbean. And if you go deep in the Caribbean, you'll find them in Jamaica. So if you, if you trust these people, you'll find them in Jamaica. So whatever this lady is saying has got some truths in it. And so it's not about favoring Jamaica. This is just the truth that out, out here, when you say next week, by the way, you come to Kenya and say, you know what, next week I'm going to Caribbean. People will tell you, oh, you're going to Jamaica, which part of Jamaica, you know, because that is the truth. Another thing, Jamaican influence. Jamaica has influenced the whole world. The Rastafarian culture, the whole world, you know, the reggae, as I've always said, track and field, in sports, in everything. So Jamaican influence has always been felt in all the corners of the world, all the corners, all the corners, you know. And as I've told you, when people are looking at, you know, how this culture is, in, I mean, the, the, this influence is so big, they go back to Caribbean and they say, oh, this Caribbean country, oh, Jamaica, Caribbean, oh, Jamaica, Caribbean, oh, Jamaica. So automatically, people will tend to associate Caribbean with Jamaica. So when this lady is saying that whenever you mention Jamaica, people think that it's Caribbean, that's the truth, you know, because Jamaican influence is big. Even uh, if you look at Martin Luther King, influenced by Jamaicans, you know, because he went in Jamaica twice and he said that he, he realized that Jamaica was home. You know, Malcolm X influenced by, you know, Marcus Garvey from Jamaica. Reggae has influenced many people. Nelson Mandela in prison. He used to he used to say that Bob Marley's music gave him hope. You get what I'm saying? And so you're going to realize that Jamaican influence is so big, it's so deep. Look at hip-hop. There is Jamaican influence there. You know, almost everything has got a Jamaican touch. And when we trace Jamaica, we find it in Caribbean. So automatically, we will think that Caribbean is Jamaica. Another thing is sports. I told you track and field. As we are speaking today, or right now, the fastest, the fastest human being alive, as I told you before, is in the Caribbean. But where exactly in the Caribbean? Jamaica. The fastest woman in the world alive today, as we speak today, is in the Caribbean. But where exactly in the Caribbean? Ja, me, ja. Who are leading in sprinting? Caribbean. Where exactly? Ja, me, ja. So this lady, she's right. Whatever she's saying has got some truths in it. Lastly, love for Africa. Love for Africa. Come to Africa. Go to Ethiopia, where there is massive following of Rastafarians. Go to Kenya. Go to Senegal. Go to Gambia. Go to Sudan they will always associate with Jamaica, you know? And whenever they associate with Jamaica, that is a Caribbean country. So, because Jamaicans have always got a love for Africans. Tell me in the whole Caribbean, which country has always been talking about, you know, back to Africa. This is Jamaica, back to Africa. Uh, Africa Unite, you know, supporting Africa, associating with Africa. It is Jamaica in the Caribbean. So, that is one of the ways that they have put themselves on the map. So when I looked at this video of this lady trying to ask people to give opinion, to give their ideas, I said I was going to react on it. And whatever this lady is saying, she is not lying. And, and, and this reaction is not to say that we don't recognize other Caribbean countries. We do, man. And we appreciate them. We love them very much. Papados, we love you. Trinidad, Tobago, we love you. You know, Antigua. You know, Cuba, Haiti, all of them, we love them. And, and, and those are our brothers. But today, I was just trying to react on this video done by this lady. That why is it that most of the time, whenever Jama Caribbean is mentioned, people think it is Jamaica. In the comment section, Jamaicans, other Caribbean people, what do you think? Whenever Caribbean is mentioned, what comes 
into your mind. For now, goodbye. My people, you always know this channel is called African Walk, a walk. Whatever we do here is to spread love and to ensure that we are one people. One Love comes from Bob Marley's song that was done by Bob Marley himself. And our teachings and inspiration always comes from Marcus Gave. For now, I am saying bye-bye. Until tomorrow, same place, same time. Goodbye.